So the leading stuff on the timeline can be for beginners very surprising to say the least and frustrating in every other case. What we need to understand is that for the normal deletion and leaving everything on the timeline how it is, we don't hit the delete key on the keyboard, but we hit the backspace key. So let's for example delete this clip here and hit the backspace. You see what happens is that the clip is deleted and everything stays at its place. So let's undo that and hit now the delete key instead. What happens is that everything moves to the left, to the length of the clip that has been removed. Let's undo that again and let's go and delete this one. But now in order to have a good measurement of what, what's happening here, let's place the playhead in front of that clip and now hit the delete key. You see what happens is that it moves everything to the left in order to close the gaps, but also it shrunk everything until the start of that clip. It can all be very frustrating at times and confusing. You should always Think very carefully before you delete something. So if you just want to delete a clip, let's split that one and then hit the backspace. You see, just a clip is disappearing. But as soon as you hit the normal delete, it makes a ripple delete and it moves everything into the length of that clip that you deleted to the left. Depending on how many clips you have on your timeline and how many video uh, tracks you have. This can be very, very confusing. So handle with care. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have uh, fun with the rest of this playlist and uh, goodbye.